you were you were with us once and you failed. Yes, yeah, so tell us about that. So I was a franchisee from 2006 to 2011. Yeah. Um, came in, didn't really have an idea. Wasn't really good with running a business. Had no idea what I was doing. Yeah. Probably a little bit out of my depth and probably a bit too early. Uh, from there. I left in 2011, it got a bit too hard and I had a few too many complaints coming in and yes. got, the, got the humble breach notice and uh, I just decided it wasn't for me at that time. So I went away, um, done some other things for a couple of years, paid off all the debts that I built up because I didn't do things properly, worked really hard and then started off as an independent back in 2014 yeah. and 2016 I, sent, I went full time, I went back to, I'd left my full time job back to working as an independent. Always wanted to come back. I sent you an email saying about some gyms, uh, some Go Blitz work at that time. Yeah. And then from there, you sent me a message saying, "Oh, I'm sure your franchisor would be happy to give you another go." So I uh, <laughs> contacted those. I contacted Dave and um, and Carl. How, how, um, how, yeah, what was it like coming back? I mean, did, did it improve things? Was it? Oh yeah, for me it was. I had to succeed because I, I, I failed the first time and I wanted to do better this time and I wanted to make sure this time I'd done it right. Um, and I, I ran successfully as an independent for bit over two years mm. but in the end it's so with other um, lead generating services like ser um, service seeking and high pages and things like that do you really want to go and line up with eight people for a $50 lawn mow um, I was doing some go blitz work and oh, back then it was I oh, know it was go blitz then it's changed its name a few times now uh, and then Dave and Carl made me a good offer to come back and since then I've come back and I've just made sure that you know I wanted to build a successful business I've now got two employees um, wow. Going to turn over some really good figures this year. What's, what's your rating? Your star rating? Five star rating. So five point zero. Five point zero. I've kept that. You got a breach last time. <laughs> and now you're one of the absolute elite, you're running your top five percent. In that's amazing. Yeah. So I, me and my wife, my wife's also a franchisee. She's a laundry franchisee, and she says, "Oh, I've just got my, you know, seventeenth five star." And I said, "Look, when you get to one hundred and twenty, let me know." So we have a bit of banter, but she's she's enjoying so it as well. So how do you do it? How do you how do you get to be five point zero? Look, it comes down to making the customer happy for me um, and taking pride in your work, um, enjoying what you do. Like I, abs working, work, going back and working a full-time job where you had to start at six, you had to finish at three, you work for yourself. There's no better feeling for me working for yourself. And, and when we leave a job, I say to the customer, when I'm leaving that job, I'll say, Jim, are you happy with the work today? Have a walk around. Have we missed something? Let me know you're happy. Oh, mate, you know, whatever. Sometimes I'll say, oh, what about that? No problem, we'll fix it. And you say, if you're not happy, then you tell me and I'll come back and correct, fix it. Correct, correct. Don't call Jim. And that's exactly what I do. So I'll say to him, I'll say, look, if there's something I've missed, if you look at it later and there's something I've missed, give me a call on the mobile. We'll come fix it tomorrow. Don't call the office because that's going to be bad for me. And then I have to try and explain it. Um, give me a call and then if you're not happy with the response, then take it further. But, but give but me a call. Have, but you have had a couple of complaints, but you've, you've contacted, you fixed them up. Yeah, yeah. So we've got a couple. We've had a couple of, I think it's three complaints now, but I've given you the evidence that you asked for. And um, You fixed the job and I took them off. Yep. So one of them was um, uh, some weeds come back. I've done, done this massive clean up on a garden bed and... The weeds come back after six weeks and um, they decided that I, I told them the weeds wouldn't come back. I don't know how I told them that, but and then they wouldn't allow me to go back and fix it and then the, the offer was made, but that was withdrawn because I showed photos and everything else that was required. And then uh, I got one two weeks ago that came through where the customer said that didn't turn up, didn't show up, didn't call, didn't contact me and I just sent you the call history, the emails and all the evidence uh, and that was just you just deleted it yeah. so tell me what what's the comparison you were an independent full-time yep. and then you were gyms that, how did that affect your income oh it's totally different you don't have to worry about all the advertising yourself like you having all those lead subscriptions people say oh what if you're doing so well as an independent why go back to gyms it's because tomorrow if i've got a quiet day i can turn leads on and then i'll turn it off an hour or two later so I love the gyms group, I love what I do, and, and the, the simple reality is you only talk to your customers, I always suss out the customer, I say, how many people have you called, or what, what did the other guy charge, and I said, oh, we only rang gyms, and that's probably about 80 to 90% of my leads, wow. they only rung gyms, and if they know the gym system, um, when I've had work done at my place and that sort of stuff, and I've used gyms contractors because I know if I don't get the job done properly, it, it so actually did happen, it actually what, happened where, where I contacted you and you rectified the issue I had. What's the difference in how much you can charge? Oh, yeah, look, definitely. Look, I don't really think there's a comparison. I charge my rate. Um, I know people look at gyms and they see the nice setups, they see the equipment. 
Um, I generally tried to charge, look, I generally charge around the same as an independent to what I did now. Um, I'd probably, you know, a little bit more um, because if people know the gym's group and they know the gym's guarantee, then you're paying for a service and they know that we're going to turn up that following day, we're going to turn up that following night or, you know, whenever it is and it's going to be done and if it's not, if they know the system, then I'll know there's consequences for the franchisee if they don't. Well, that's a great story. <laughs> thanks, thanks, for, thanks for that, Matt. Too easy, Jim. Thank you. Cheers.